Attack! Exploring! Alright, well, we're not gonna get anywhere if we just keep trying to kill these things. So let's move along. Over here. Moving as fast as I can. Have some patience. of some sort. Oh, it's locked. Getting some Silent Hill vibes going on now. Hey, what's this? Ooh, new armor. Nice. Uh-oh. could use some healing at this point. Ooh, another stump. Give me that. Ah. Safe zone of some sort. That'll help out. Why, hello there. Good day to you, my traveling friend. You're either very brave or very stupid to be wandering around this town today. In case you haven't noticed, the dead seem to be rising from their graves. As you notice, this one's a little bit sarcastic and rude. So, he likes sarcastic and rude. Really? I hadn't noticed. I'm just out scouting locations for some land to build a house on. I was thinking of retiring here. <laughs> a sarcastic one, are you? A man I can relate to. Perhaps I can help you with a magical tune if you think you're worthy. Thus far on this journey, I've only met two types of people. Those that have helped me, and those that I've killed. Which type are you? Excellent. It'll be my honor to help out a nasty sort of man like yourself. Please, take this tune and use it in good health. And now we get an upgraded gouger. We'll go ahead and uh, summon that gouger. Just to give him a test run. Let's see here, where is he at? Hmm. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I'll also go ahead and uh, de-summon our scavenger guy. I am getting some serious lag. I'm going to stop the recording for just a moment, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, hopefully that resolves the lag. I'll also go ahead and... I think we'll summon the uh, Enchantress. Check her out. Of course, I don't have enough mana to summon her yet. Okay. Oh, wait, there we go. Did I just... <laughs> Did I just do that? Whatever. You know what? Heal him up. Go ahead and do it. I summoned you, so I will keep you out. My mistake. Whatever. You must be that crazy old butcher I heard about. <gasps> I thought I'd never see you again. Excuse me? D don't play games with me, Garrett. I thought I remembered the droger getting you, but I guess I was wrong, because here you are. I'm a master thief, after all. Person. Oh, don't be stupid. How could I not know? My own brother. Ah, oh, yes. Well, then, I guess you're right. Uh, it's been a long time, eh? Uh, brother. Yes. <laughs> It has been. It's been rough these last few weeks trying to survive alone. Well, there's the old shopkeeper, but he's crazy. It's a shame when your only companion is a crazy person, isn't it? You can say that again. Why, why ever since my boy, my only son. You all right there? 
brother. Ah, William! William, it is you! Oh, my son, I can't believe it's you! I thought you lost when you went off looking for that axe! Oh, oh gods, get off me, old man. Oh, no shame in public affection, my boy! You're my only son, and there's nobody else around. Well, nobody living, except maybe that crazy shopkeep. I hate to interrupt, uh, father, uh, but do you know the way to the Firebolt Mines? What? Oh, of course I do, my boy. You know our farm is right next to the mine entrance. Why, our family's been trading with those Firbolg for generations. Great. Let's go to the farm. Uh, Dad. Mm, you had better lead the way. All this excitement has caused me to forget which way it is. We must head through the graveyard. Of course, naturally, through the graveyard. <laughs> Just once it would be nice if the way to get someplace was through a field of flowers. The bard couldn't help but think that once this was all over, he had a new friend he could share a drink with. He was, in fact, quite overwhelmed by the thrill of spending hours on end with the crazy old butcher. Oh, shut up. That's not what I'm thinking, and you know it. What, what was that, son? Nothing. Crazy old buzzard. I mean, father. <laughs> well, I guess we've become Garrett the Master Thief. Or William the Dead Son. Hmm. Anyway, you have to be really careful, because these guys will try to kill the guy you're going with. God damn it. Uh, this way, brother. Jeez. This is annoying. Let me tell you. Uh, this way, brother. We'll just do this. Maybe that'll help out. Alright. I found a use for these. Alright, let's move along. Keep them back from you. This is the tree that I fell out of and broke my wrist. Aren't we lucky it wasn't your neck? <laughs> no. Bad thing. Don't do that. Hey, hey, hey. Granny! Come on, Granny! Bust those bunions with ya! Granny! Come on, Granny! Bust those bunions with ya! <laughs> granny. Hopefully that continues to help us out. <gasps> oh, I can still smell misty sweet buns! Best bakery in town. Stay away. Nope, no, 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 no. Me, come this way. Gotta hate these things. Luckily, he kind of keeps walking while everything else is frozen. Uh, this way, brother. Kind of helps. Die. All right, where are we going? Granny, come on, Granny. Bust those bunions with ya. I'm trying to come. You're in the way. Dork. So anyway, we get to go over to the crazy guy over here. Hey, what the hell? You guys should not be over here. I don't see the butcher with you. Go away. Yeah, it's okay, my friend. It's me, Hatcher, and my wife, Hildy. Uh, let us in. Oh, yes. How silly of me. You're looking as lovely as ever, Hildy. I'm going to kill somebody pretty soon. <laughs> oh, and the same lovely temperament. <laughs> Why is this guy over here? That does not make any sense. Okay, let's get inside here. 